You can see us now. Yeah. Is that weird? Yeah, it's cool, right? I like like looking at myself. Yeah, me too. I like looking at you too. I like... (laughs) (laughs) That was funny. (laughs) I thought you would get get there at the same time that I did. It was good. So, hello, and uh, welcome to the... Another episode of First Frames First. It's a good thing I didn't have a mouthful of beer. Seriously. (laughs) Episode 79. 79. Hello, everybody. My name is Adrian Constant. I'm Jason Green. And uh, we want to give you an update on how we are doing as we try and climb the ladders of independent filmmaking. And uh, dream. our dream is to make movies and films and TV shows for the biggest studios in the world. And uh, so this is our live update. This is our update how we're doing and what we're doing to get there. Hey guys, I'm Adrian. And I'm Jay. We run Fable Forest Films. Right now, we're totally independent. What's the dream? Making crazy awesome film and television for the biggest studios. This podcast is our journey. How's it going, Adrian? Pretty good. Pretty good. I've got to say, I'm in an excellent mood Mm. these days. Because we can see the light at the end of the tunnel with with Eight Limbs Season 2. Yes. And uh, it feels amazing. Um, we have, we've shot over our deadline that we said. And the, that feels not good. That feels not good. But uh, the executive producers over at Bell have been very understanding in, um, in allowing us to just do what we need to do to get the project uh, over to them. So we're grinding away, grinding hard, and I feel just great. To be honest with you, I love those guys. Like, every time we send something to them, it's hard to tell. You know, I, I want to say that I really think that we should be very proud of the show we're building. Mm-hmm. Because every time we send something to them, we're like, you know, and they're like, we love it. It's excellent. You guys are doing a great job. You're per, you're creating a you know you're sending us high quality show, and uh, I don't know. Every time I always worry, mm-hmm. and then they make us feel really good when they mm-hmm. let us know what they think of any given situation, and you know I think they should probably be shitting on our heads more for being late, but it's they just aren't, so it's right just now. it is tough when. And the, this is, a, this is, I, I don't enjoy excuses. No. But it, it's tough when you're For not you doing. you guys, our friends. It, it is tough when you're doing, when you're not doing, when you don't do it every day. Yeah. Because what will happen is I get two days a week, which I can, when the girls are at, and I don't even get a full day on those two days a week. Right? I'm, I'm dropping the girls at school at nine mm-hmm. um, and daycare at nine. And then I'm back at the house by 9.30 and I need to leave to pick them up by 3. Yeah. So it's a shorter day and I have Tuesdays and Thursdays to make that happen. Mm-hmm. And sometimes something happens. Sometimes there's a strike. The teachers go on strike, and which is happening in Ontario right now. And um, all of a sudden I'll lose a Tuesday or a Thursday. And that's half of my work week down the tubes. And I'm, and I'm working in the evenings. I'm tra- doing my best to work in the evenings. But like... Um, yeah, you, I, I mean, I could, uh, me personally, I, I tend to peter out around, around 10, 30, 11. I'm starting to get tired. It's time for me to go to bed. Right. Mm-hmm. Me too. I think that, uh, for me, like the only time I have to work on this stuff is in the evenings or the weekends. And, uh, it's funny cause Anne, I'm, I'm like, okay, I'm going to go back downstairs and I'm going to work on this mm-hmm. thing. She's like, haven't you been working on that for a while? I'm like, yeah, I have. It takes me forever. But, but this week. Uh, or, yeah, so this week I actually pretty much took a break all through Monday to Friday. Mm-hmm. Um, I, uh, started a writer's group with Connor, as mm-hmm. I, I mentioned. Mm-hmm. So it's just fun. I mean, we only really have one other member right now. And so it's just a way for us to get out and try writing, but we haven't really done any writing. All we've done is like shown each other the other things that we've done. Mm-hmm. Um, so it was cool because on, I think on Sunday or Saturday, Sunday last week, um, the guy in my writer's group was like, here's a contest. It's a, for a short story. 
Um, you can write it, it's for the, you can send it into the Toronto Star, they partnered with the Toronto Public Library, and, um, you know, all the, the doodads. And I, uh, originally when I, it said, you know, it starts January and it ends April 21st, and I was like, oh, sweet, that's lots of time. It's going to be amazing. So I, I started writing on Monday. And, uh, you know, I have an app on my phone, which is like a transcription app. Mm-hmm. It's, I love it. If you have an Android. So you, you're writing. Yeah. So by if, you have, talking. if you have an Android, yeah. If you have an Android, it's called recorder. That's it. It's just. Oh yeah. It's just the audio recorder. Well, yeah. But yeah, 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 yeah. I've, I've, I've tried some transcripting in that. It's amazing. Yeah. So I basically turn it on. No, that's not it. But okay. voice recorder. No, it's speech called, to text. It's called recorder. Is the one I have. I'm just telling you. It's fine. It's this recorder. So I put throw it on in the car, and what I really like about it is I throw it on in the car, and if I don't talk, it doesn't do anything. Yeah. Good. Well, I just caught that. So and then I'll so I'll be sitting and I'll be driving. And the, it, the car it, makes it, noise. It's like, right? Car noise. I don't know if that's a good car noise. But you're driving. But your car was breaking down. No, and it's it, it is recording. But uh, so I'm I'm just driving along, and I'm just thinking, and I will throw out a couple things, and then I'll start to talk to myself, mm -hmm. and then it'll record, and then when I get finished. So like when I was doing this, I was driving to the gym, right? So I drove to the gym. I started talking through what I kind of wanted to do. I did my workout, and on the way back, I talked more, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. So then you stop the recording. Oh, and actually, let me show you one really cool thing. You can just stop you and can, you can carry no, on. No, you can actually carry on as we go, and you can click the transcript button, and you can see that it's actually writing down every single thing that I say, which is pretty cool. And so it's live transcription, right? And so then, okay, so we're gonna pause. That's and incredible. That, that was transcribing at an excellent rate. That yeah. was right. This, this so, app is amazing. Now, is so this... then I save it, and then later I've got each recording, so you can listen to the listen audio, to it, and then you can hit transcribe, transcribe, and then I share it. I send it to my email, and then I just copy and paste it in my Word doc and the way I was going. So I already had by the time I started to write, I already had four pages. Now it was garbage because it was all yeah, like, yeah. It's just you babbling. Right. But it's it's recorded, it's there, it's... Yeah. That's going to be so it's very cool. excellent for story time type of stuff, right? I know. So, anyways, I... Uh, so I had, I think, the first night I had 1,600 pages. I said, er, 1,600 words of the maximum of 2,500 words. Mm -hmm. And then I... Uh, looked up the instructions or the actual rules and there was a deadline of this week. So I was like, oh, the deadline is, I don't know if we're going to actually do it like, yeah, but, uh, so I worked pretty hard actually through the week and I got, I got the script or the, not the script, the short story completed yep. and, um, drove into Toronto and actually hand delivered it mm -hmm. and, uh, we'll just see what happens. So it was funny. I was talking to Connor and I was saying like, how many people do you think applied to this short story contest and he was i said ten thousand. no i would say like 500 That's, so it's all of ontario wow and but it had to, up it had to be hand delivered though no oh it could it be could mailed have, it could have been physically mailed not and emailed what, no email what jason do you win if uh, you win the contest if you win the the top three prizes are five thousand bucks three thousand and two thousand mm-hmm and money. If you win, money. You oh, you also get published in the Toronto Star. That's cool. And uh, if you win, win, you also get your tuition paid to. I want to say Humber College mm -hmm. Writing School. College. Yeah. Writing School, writing something around. That's awesome. So anyway, well I I really enjoyed it. And as a, as an aside, I had been thinking about. Uh, this is the beginning of a script that I've been thinking mm -hmm. about for quite a while. Mm -hmm. And so I had told you about this before. I kind of had the idea for this sort of funeral. Mm -hmm. And uh, and so that's what I wrote about. And I wrote basically the opening 
of a feature that we had talked about doing, a romantic... Uh, I don't even know if it's a rom-com, I wouldn't say. Would you call... Not romance, no. no like, not a comedy. No, it's just a romance, I guess, right? Like, what would you call mm -hmm. Sleepless in Seattle? Well, romance? What, what does the... Yeah, oh yeah, 100%. Okay. So that's yeah, romance. But, like, yours is also taken... Takes place in... It doesn't matter that it's in the future, it's just a romance. Yeah, but it's... It's also... It's kind of a sci-fi romance. Okay. It's a sci-fi romance. <clears throat> I would say it's kind of like in the way that... Uh, what's, the, what's the movie where Robin Williams plays the robot? Bicentennial? By, is it Bicentennial? I, I feel like it's in the way that Bicentennial is a drama. Because it is kind of a drama. It is a drama. Yeah, it is a drama. But it's also it's about a robot dude. So it's kind of sci-fi. Sci-fi drama. Yeah. So this sci-fi romance. Yeah. Sci-fi so, romance. So, I mean, not, so we'll see, not giving... Not giving anything away, but where, what, what, what is the storyline for the rest of the movie? Like, who are you following through the rest of the movie? You are following <clears throat> the uh, Ben. Oh, you leave Bugalugs and you go and follow Ben. He dies. Bugalugs dies, and then you. Now he would be ben. in it. Oh, yeah, he because would be he in it for a while. The, he is the architect. Yes. He is the architect of the rest of the situation. Yeah, but <clears throat> would, who you're following is Ben as he suddenly. Uh, okay. Now runs we're into this person again, yeah. and then uh, now have you ever seen You've Got Mail? Yes. Okay. So if you're both Tom Hanks, there's this both Tom Hanks classic Meg Ryan, Ryan, yeah, romance. So movie. in You've Got Mail, mm -hmm. they're having an, an online Thing. dating chat, right? Yeah. Now he owns a huge Chapters, mm -hmm. and she owns a local bookstore, right? Mm -hmm. And he shuts her down. If you remember, mm -hmm. right? So he knows about her and he knows that she's the one that he's online dating. He figures this out and he tries to like figure out a way to woo her and, and make this. Yeah. He knows everything about her and he's trying to make this plan. And then eventually she finds out and she's angry. And, and now I will say that we watched it. Anne was watching it the other day and Connor was watching it with her. And I actually sat in for the last 10 minutes or so. Mm -hmm. And I will say that... You've Got Mail is, breaks the normal romantic structure. I was it thinking does? about it a little bit, yeah. Okay. I was, I was kind of talking about it to Anne and Connor, because the thing is, a romantic, a romance, mm -hmm. has a certain structure. And often, 100%. often you will, uh, uh, the guy or the girl will have a plan, mm -hmm. right? And the plan will be going really well, and then the person the love interest will discover the, that there is a plan at work. Mm -hmm. They will get mad and they break will up. break up and then they will have to figure out a way to come back together in the end uh -huh. and blah, blah, blah. Okay. But in You've Got Mail, he reveals the plan at the very end and she gets kind of irritated but then it's like, eh, it's fine. And then they're happily ever after and then it ends. Boom, done. Mm -hmm. You're just like, oh, okay. It wasn't the big breakup. No, it wasn't a breakup yeah. at all, really. There was no breakup. Yeah. So it was cool. Anyways, it just broke the normal structure. Cool. So. They didn't fight and break up and then have to make up again. Now, I think my other update was uh, I think that potentially in the last episode, I talked about the fact that I saw a short film festival that I entered in the middle of the night. Mm -hmm. So I think we are semi finalists in that short film festival. So we will. This is good. We will see what happens. Next update, maybe we'll find out if we made it even further or yeah. just got. But it was funny. I didn't get notified. I saw my face on Instagram. <laughs> oh, very good. It was like I was flipping through Instagram and it was like the semifinalists have been announced and my face was <laughs> on the ground in the picture. So I was like, Sweet. that's awesome. Yeah. Congratulations so to cool. you, Jason, because mm -hmm. your face was. Not your face. Instagram. Sorry, bro. My face was not. I mean, your face was in the trailer, but... <laughs> they are not. They are just post-man! That's correct. Yeah. Um, now, uh, we did we mention on the podcast that my voice is not sexy enough? I don't know if we mentioned it. Mm-hmm. So, we did the intro to Eight Limbs 2, 
We had a beautiful, we shot a beautiful intro, I think. It's gorgeous. And Jason did the voiceover. And I thought the voiceover, the voiceover in, in what we were looking for, like, it, it's, a, I think the idea is pretty solid. Anyway, we sent our version. No, but let's, let's hold back for <laughs> one second. Because I feel like, even though she's not going to watch it, I get to poke my wife here. Yeah, you 100%. So, we worked all day. We recorded voiceovers. My wife, my lovely wife, was watching the girls yeah. while we were working away. And then she came. I was like, you got to come downstairs and watch this video. And uh, she comes over. We put it on. She watches it, and she's sitting there. And then she goes, Why'd you use your voice? <laughs> oh. Meaning mine. I was like, What do you mean? <laughs> she was like, Thanks. Well, Thanks. You should have just picked someone's voice that's a little, I don't know, deeper. <laughs> and then. And she's like, why didn't you use Adrian's voice? So then we're in the car later and she's keeps digging, <laughs> she keeps jamming a wall. And <laughs> she's like she kept jamming And then I was like that's funny. She's like, you just need a voice that's like and I go, sexier? And she says, Yeah. <laughs> and she goes, Look, you know you're just your voices and I was like, What? <laughs> so then I was of course grumpy. That's fine. You guys all know twenty what, minutes. You guys all know what my voice sounds like. Um, but yeah, so the rest of the day I was like, <laughs> you know, and uh, so we're like, no, this is the decision we're gonna make. So we yeah, I thought it sounded good. We sent it to Bell, <laughs> and uh, what did Bell say? You need a voice with more gravitas. <laughs> I was like. <laughs> So I, I emailed Bell back and I was like, you know, you guys cut me really deep today. I was like, you know, that was my voice. Uh, I was like, my wife also said my voice wasn't sexy enough. And Bell was like, whoa, whoa. We didn't say anything about your voice Sexiness. being not sexy enough. Yeah. We just said it needed more gravitas. gravitas. We stand by the word gravitas. Yeah. Yeah. So. so we got it. We did. We did hire a voiceover artist and we got one. We got one serious epic deepness. Just like, Jay's not a fan. I'm sure the guy is very nice. <laughs> but his voiceover sucks. I mean, no, the voiceover is fine. fine. I just was grumpy. Yeah. I was grumpy. It's fine. And I, you know what? I, I'm, not you convinced, know what I, I'm not convinced Jay's voice wouldn't work. You know what I have to say? You have to kill your babies. Sometimes, Sometimes well, you have to just step aside and... Let the project continue. And yeah, you just gotta. I think you gotta pick your battles. You can't fight everything. You gotta be like, what? Wh where? Are we, where are you gonna make your stand about what? Yeah, because we'll see, we'll see which stand I take someday. I'm terrified. If I don't Jay know what it's stand, gonna be. About. It'll be bad. No, I think it'll be big. I, you know what? I think a lot of times, if I say no, I really think this. Yeah. You gen we just generally go for it. Yeah. No, you know what? Look. I'm just gonna, just gonna, I'm gonna take that one. I'm just gonna put it in here. No, I'm don't gonna, put it. I'm just gonna <laughs> push push it down yeah. here where it belongs. To your penis area? <laughs> Not there. <laughs> Never get hurt again. Yeah. Yeah. So, anyways. <laughs> bloop, bloop, bloop. <laughs> All right. That's so, good. listen. Next episode is our 80th episode. Mm. So we're not exactly sure what we're gonna do for our 80th episode, except. That we, what were we talking about? We might push it off a I think bit. We might push it off Look, guys, week. here's the thing. We haven't missed an episode. We haven't missed a two-week episode what? in three years. This is because of Jason. Right? Our 80th episode will be the third year episode. Um, I think we're going to push this one off. So, I think here's what we're going to do. This episode is going to come out Wednesday, March the something third, fifth, fourth, whatever. So normally our 80th episode would come out on like the 18th or 19th. Here's what we're going to do. The 80th episode, our third year 
anniversary of this show will not happen until Art of Eight Limbs is complete and sent in to Bell in its completedness. And we're going to throw ourselves a party. And that's what the episode is going to be. We're going to bring the GoPros or the camera to the party. Yeah. And we're going to... Now, let me tell you, why do you think that it's not going to be in two weeks? Well, I would just say that the five episodes are done. Mm -hmm. We are working on... We filled a card. We're not using the GoPro right now because I forgot them at my house. Oh, hello. How do you see you there? <laughs> Let me flip um, this. You were you were asking me about uh, this, why aren't we going to finish? Why, why, are we why not aren't we going to going make to it? finish two egg limbs in two weeks? Okay. By the time so, the next podcast is due. So here's the thing. I'm not saying that we can't, but we have to finish eight limbs and plan some sort of party. The planning could be as simple as let's find a bar to go to yeah. that will let us film. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, no, for for eight limbs though, we're done five episodes. Mm -hmm. We are creating the. Uh, Ads. Ad spots. Right. Now we worked on one ad tonight. This is a slow export. This is a, this is an export of a, a logo animation for one of the ad spots. Right. So we're working on one tonight. Um, so the rest will have to be done. Yeah. Now you're going to go through episodes six and seven mm -hmm. that we hired a junior editor to uh, take off of our hands. Now there's going to be work that has to be done with each of those mm -hmm. to get them into the place where you, where we send them to Bell for mm -hmm. pre-approval. Then you're going to shoot them to me as well for my final mm -hmm. QC, um, which we need to do. So if you had to guess at how long it would take for those two episodes, what would you say? Keeping in mind that you already said to me earlier yeah, yeah, yeah. that... A week and a half. To do those two episodes? To get them to me? Or to get them to Bell? No, to get them to Or completed. Mm, no, to get them to to get them to to you. So this is where the rough has gone to Bell and you're getting the, the new polished version. Okay. So I'm giving you the Okay. I Okay now. I've committed to something. You should probably work harder to try to get them to Bell this week. We should try, probably try to get those. That's a two, good goal. That's we should a good try goal. to get those two timeout. to Bell this week. We should probably do the final exports for all five of the other episodes in the evenings. Now, the question is: Did you ask? Did you ask Bell if they needed the ads on the episodes? Uh -huh. They said throw them on the episodes, but we need okay. to send the ads to them for pre-approval. So there's people. Right, that means we can't do the final exports the until, final no. right? So, dot, 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 all the things have to fall in line, and then my episode. You're gonna need to. <laughs> what? You're gonna need to do all the stuff. All the you have to start over from scratch almost. <laughs> you're gonna have to. I don't think so. I don't know how much. I, I, I think I don't know how long it's gonna take you, but. No. Uh, it's going to take you some time. So, so let's oh, pretend. Yeah. So this is a roundabout way of saying. No, it's impossible. If we're late. If we're late, we're going to push off 80th episode. we got to get this show done and out the door. You guys are tired of hearing us give you updates on Art of Eight Limbs Season 2. we got to get it all to Bell, and then we can start all the other cool things for Art of Eight Limbs Season 2, like creating a trailer, creating some photos, sending those things on to the internets getting people excited mm -hmm. but then we're going to jump over to we're going to jump over to shifted and we're going to begin the work on uh the podcast also finishing the movie yes yeah so um thank you very much guys for coming along uh, for listening 
and I know that you are shattered by the fact that we are not going to be we're going to be pushing off our 80th episode. Except if you want to join us in our party, then you should just stay tuned. Well, you should just reach out and just stay tuned like, to the Facebook. You should just reach out and tell us that you want to come and drink beers with us. And then we will uh, try we'll to be make expecting that your call. Exactly. You know who I'm talking about. Um, this is Echo Nine Creative, and this guy. If you add a .com over there, then you will see a website, and he makes websites, and he is constructing our website. Mm -hmm. He is the guy. He's the guy for us. He's making this happen. You know, I will say that probably. In the next two weeks, we're going to have a website by, launch. Probably by the 80th episode, we're also going to launch the website. So it's going to be an eight limbs. Finish. Eight limbs complete. Excuse. Website complete, excuse me. Excuse you. Yeah. Eight limbs completed. Website launch. Yeah. We got My Huntsville Muse is going to officially be available. Available online to watch. And my birthday. When is your birthday? In March. March. This month. This is huge. Yeah. It's very exciting. Oh my goodness. It's a lot. That is a lot. It's a lot of happiness in one evening. I might have to drink. <laughs> For your birthday? Or yeah. this evening? No. Just like I might just All have the to time. celebrate. Hmm. Celebration drink. Not just like oh Are you me are you in your forties yet? Not yet. God damn it. <laughs> I'm not I, gonna tell I you. am the I'm the world's best dad, so he's pretty upset about that. He thought he was. I mean, you're still probably a fine dad. <laughs> you know, you're fine, probably fine. <laughs> you're fine. No bad. Your girls don't really know the difference. So listen, dream big. <laughs> <laughs> Work hard. Chat to you later, guys. <laughs> Hit the button. Really hope you enjoyed the show. Wherever you watched or listened, please leave us a comment or a review. We really want to hear from you. Share the show with a friend. You know they'll love us. Head over to our website, thefableforest.com. There's all kinds of great stuff. Poke around. Check it out. See you all again in a couple weeks.